like a what's in my camera bag video as much as I do because because I love them. I love seeing what cameras, what tools, what little gadgets other creators are using to make their work. And today, by popular request from you guys, uh, we're gonna talk about what is in my camera bag for 2022. Because for 2022, I wanna do three main things. One, I wanna teach more photography on this channel. I know I talk a lot about gear and talk a lot about action cameras, but I wanna teach more photography. I've been a photographer for a very long time. I got a lot banging around up here and I wanna kinda just bleh, mental dump it on you guys. But two, I wanna do that kinda more out. I wanna go out and take you guys on shoots with me. I wanna take Morgan and the girls, take them somewhere, take photos of them, and teach photography through actually being out and about as opposed to just talking about it in this scenario and then kind of referring to photos. I want to go out. But three, I wanna take you guys along for some of the adventures that me, Morgan, and the girls do and where I use a lot of the gear that I talk about on this channel, where I actually take the gear that we talk about and, and where I use it. Because I do a lot of videos and a lot of photos for my family, for Morgan and the girls, and, and I don't share a lot of that. I just kind of talk about the gear that I'm using here. So yeah, I figured I'd take you guys along for more of that this year. And this bag here is full of everything everything that I'm gonna be using to do those three things. Before we jump into this bag though, a huge thank you to the sponsor of today's video and where I've hosted my website for the last, I think six, six or seven years, Squarespace. Back in the day when I switched to Squarespace, it was a game changer for me and my website because I was spending a lot of time on my website, on, on tweaking little things, on having to learn like HTML coding at the time to be able to make certain things link to certain, Blah. Because it's seriously as simple as opening folders on your computer, finding the photos, and then bloop, they, they pop into Squarespace. And it's super easy to update things, to go in there and swap out new photos, which means way less time focusing on building a website and much more time me focusing on photography, which is how I make my money. I've been a longtime fan of Squarespace, longtime user of Squarespace, and if you wanna start your Squarespace website today, first thing in the description, go in there, set up a free trial. You can actually build out your whole website before paying anything, and then once once you're ready to launch, use code Manning, save 10%, and have a super dope online presence. Yeah, Squarespace is great. Okay, into my bag. We'll talk about the actual bag itself at the end once it's completely empty because it's kind of hard to show you around it too much, but it is the Low Pro 450WD, what is it called? The Low Pro Protect BP 450AW. I had the first edition of this bag. I liked it a lot. And then I switched to, then I switched to this, this Compagnon bag like two years ago. I liked this one a lot, but there were some features missing from here. And before I had this one, I also had, I also had the Peak Design Everyday Backpack. This is a 30 liter and this is the V1. They're on the V2 now. But I would say that, I would say all three of these camera bags I have used and I highly recommend. Oh, geez. oh. Links to everything, by the way, in the description below. All right, let's get to everything that I have inside this backpack. And again, this is everything that I take out to film. So this doesn't include like all the studio gear that I use to make these videos here while I'm in studio. And it doesn't include my, my computer gear. There is a spot for a laptop in here. It does fit my new 16 inch MacBook Pro but I don't always have it in there, so I didn't include it in this video. Okay, into this bag, and the first thing that I have here is kind of my, my vlogging rig setup, and this is the A7S III. Normally the Sony 16-35 2.8 is on here, but I just put this on here so that there will be something on here. This lens normally is not in this bag. It's, it's kind of more of like one of my photography lenses, but you know, just for demonstration purposes. And then on top of this camera, I mount the Rode VideoMic Pro. It's still my favorite microphone. I've tried a bunch of microphones. I do wanna try the Sony BCM something. It's the one that it doesn't require the 3.5 millimeter plug-in. It actually goes through the hot shoe and talks directly to the A7S III. That, that's something I will be looking into this year, just to try out, kind of compare it against this thing. But in general, this mic is amazing. And then to finish out kind of this, this rig is this guy. This is the Polar Pro Apex base tripod. So it's a base tripod, and then this is the Joby head that I put on top of the Polar Pro. The reason that I use this guy mainly is because, so I have it set up like that. I am talking to camera. When I wanna pick the camera up, if I wanna pick the camera up and move, I can grab it just by one of these legs and the whole thing is completely stable. Whereas if you're if you're using the Joby Gorillapod, you pick up this thing by one leg and it just goes, Bleh. 
It does not work. You have to pick it up and collapse all the legs together to be able to have something that's strong enough to be able to talk to the camera and walk around with it. But with the Polar Pro Apex, I just pick it up by one leg. I can walk around, I can talk, and when I put it back down, I know it's secure. You don't have like tip over issues like you do on the Gorillapod. So to start 2022, I will be having this rig set up. This will pretty much be my vlog rig. If we go out and about, I'm talking to camera like this, it will be this setup, but instead of a, uh, 35, this is the 16 to 35. Imagine, use your imagination that this is the 16 to 35. <laughs> uh, next up, this guy right here is the 24 to 70. I, I love the Sony 24 to 70 G Master. Just a beast of a lens. I've, I've said before that if I only had one lens, if I was only allowed to have one lens for the rest of my life, what would that one lens be? And it would be this lens just because it's so useful. It's not my favorite lens to shoot. Like singularly, I would say either this 35 millimeter or a 50 millimeter would be my favorite focal length to be at. But this lens, just because it's so useful, going from 24 to 70, I can shoot most things with this one lens. And then sometimes, depending on what kind of shoot I'm doing or where I'm going, I sometimes bring the 70 to 200 from Sony. This is the G Master 1.0 version. The 2.0 is out. It focuses a little better, but but the main reason to get the, the version two over this lens is that it's like 30% lighter, which is significant. Okay, next up to go to go also with this setup here is the Peter McKinnon from Polar Pro. These are the VND filters. I use the two to five signature series and the six to nine signature series. These are the two that I have in here. I also have, I've got the two to five mist and the six to nine mist. They are really cool. I do like the look of mist for certain projects, but in general, if I'm just like vlogging or doing something like this, the standard NDs is is what I'm looking for. And then to kind of round out the, the camera world here, I have the Sony ZV-1 in here. This is such a good pocket camera. It is hard to express how convenient and awesome this little camera is and how easy it is to take something like the A7S III and then footage from this thing and blend them together and make it look decent. Not, it's not perfect, especially if you're pixel peeping, you are gonna see the difference between this and this, obviously, but in general, this is a great camera to just have in your pocket, pull out, be able to get some cool shots, be able to vlog on when you don't want to have this giant thing with you. All right, next up is, is kind of my action cameras that I always keep in my bag. The first one up is obviously the Insta360 ONE X2. I love this camera. I'm gonna do a whole video, like a 2022 version of why I love this camera so much and how I've been using it more recently. So I'll make an update video on that, but to go with this guy, I always have the invisible selfie stick. Look how tiny that thing is when it's folded up. Like when it gets little, it's so little. And then when it gets long, it gets really long. We just went to the desert recently and I was using this out the window to shoot these like dune buggy shots. I was in my brother-in-law's dune buggy. He's bombing at like 70 miles an hour and I was able to just hold this out the window because it's so lightweight and and get some really cool shots. Yeah, video on this camera coming soon. Next up in there is the GoPro Hero 10. This is still my favorite like normal shooting camera just because it's easy. Like it's a really convenient camera. The DJI Action 2, it is cool. I like the, the Insta360 ONE R. I think they're both really good cameras with the modular design designs, but man, as far as just like grabbing a camera, throwing a battery and throwing an SD card in, hit and record and going, yeah, the Hero 10 is, is still the camera that I grabbed for that. And I always have it attached to the snap mount in my bag and the bite mount. So I can just pop this thing out, pull it up, and I'm ready to film POV shots just like that. The next thing is, is my tech bag. I switched recently back to the Peak Design tech bag. So it has kind of like, does one of these bits and there's a bunch of stuff. I might make a whole updated video on what's inside my tech bag because this video would be stupid long if I talked about everything inside this bag. But this is like all the little stuff is, is in here. And then under that in this kind of center area, I keep the Rode Wireless 2 kit. These guys are, or Wireless Go 2, yeah, Wireless Go 2. I'm still not like a huge fan of this bag system just because they're kind of just in there. I've been looking at that one where where you like put them in and it, it's a charger, so you just plug one USB. I don't know. I might get that, but right now this thing, it does fit in this little long slot really nicely. And then if I need a lav for that, I've got this guy, which is Rode's new Lavalier 2. I might make a whole video on lavaliers because I actually have 
I keep multiple lobs in here in case I use kind of both the Rode setups. This is the main lob that I'm using with the Rode Wireless Go 2 or with this guy which is the Zoom F2 BT. And it's basically just a, a hip pack recorder. So this is something I can clip on. I'm gonna sync audio and post with this piece, but it's got all the controls on it, which is really nice. The, the Rode kind of just records by itself or it's recording into the receiver. And you know that the transceiver is also recording it, which is usually the audio that I kind of count on. But on the Rode transceiver, there's no controls. And sometimes, sometimes it's nice to just look down and be like, yeah, I am still recording or I can stop recording or I can adjust things. So I keep this little guy also in my bag. That side's empty, that side's empty. Uh, of course, we have the DJI Mavic Air 2. Is this the Air 2? Yeah, Mavic Air 2. This is still a great drone. I really like it a lot. The Air 2S came out and I was, I was jealous of it. The amount of times that I'm using my drone now has it's really been reduced. I feel like I don't use my drone a ton anymore. It's more just for fun or like to get some cool shots or cool video clips, like maybe a quick establishing shot for one of these videos. And for that, I don't know that I need like the highest quality drone as much as I just need something that's good, that's that's very high quality and, and that works. And this fits the bill. So I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna be upgrading my drone this year, but if I do, I'll, I'll let you guys know. And then over on this side, I have two extra batteries for that drone because if you're flying drones, you should always have extra batteries. And then in the top piece here is a zipper. And this is also accessible, like the whole top lid comes off, but from inside the bag, you can also get to it. I keep my extra batteries for the A7S III. I normally keep three extra batteries for the A7S III, even though the A7S III batteries last a long time. I almost never need three batteries, but better to have them and not need them than need them and not have them. I think that is it for the main pocket bit. Up top here, I have the Rode Smart Lav. So this one plugs into my, my iPhone. I have the Rode Go mic. So this is the other mic. If I'm using both the wireless Go 2 receivers, receivers, transceivers, transceivers. If I'm using both of the wireless Go hip packs, then I will use this lav and this lav here with this system. Then lastly up here is the color checkers. I, I normally just keep the video version in my bag. I don't bring the photo version all the time. I usually use the photo version for, for product photography or things like that. And then I use the video version for a lot of white balance stuff. But this is, see, look, I'm gonna use this right now. And in this video, I'm gonna white balance off of this. If you don't know how this whole thing works, click that video up there and never get bad white balance again. Then there's just some like little things like up here, I always keep earplugs in here, mainly because I, I shoot a lot at like Morgan's concerts and I love listening to her play, but it gets so loud sometimes. Or if I'm on an airplane, sometimes earplugs are really helpful to have. And then up here, I keep some extra cash because that's always helpful. I keep some, some channel stickers because people be like, oh, are you a vlogger? What's your channel? And instead of having to be like, let me see your phone, let me, I just hand him a sticker. And then also I keep, I keep Adventures of Mav and Mo. These are stickers that I had made for me and Morgan so that while we travel around the world, we find, we find sneaky places to hide them or we find like, if there's like a big sticker wall at some like cool restaurant, like in Thailand, there was this whole wall of stickers and we put our sticker on the wall. And then we write down kind of where we've put stickers all around the world with the idea that, that one day when we go back there and we visit, it would be cool to, to still see our sticker up on the wall. Just a fun thing that, that we like to do. And then again, the laptop pocket up top, but I think that's all, that's all that goes in there. And then the last two pockets on this bag, one is on this side and one is on this side here. On this side is my quick access to SD cards. This is the Pelican SD card case where I keep my cards. I have SD cards on this side and on this side is micro SD cards. So for like GoPros and some 360s, my Mavic. And then on top of those, you can put SD cards. So this whole case can hold 12 SD cards and six micro SD cards. And it's waterproof and uh, yeah, I don't know. Pelican makes good things. So that stays in the side pocket right there. And then on this side pocket, I keep one of my favorite thing. Oh, wait, two of my favorite things. One is my AirPods. That's where I keep my AirPods. And then I also keep this thing. And I just got a new one because they came out with this really cool new one. But this is my new headlamp. Anyone that knows me knows I love head. There's no reason to ever have a flashlight. I don't know why you would ever have a flashlight if you could have a headlamp. See, I, I can see in dark places 
and my hands are free. This is from Coast, and I can't remember the model number. I will put the model number in the description below, but this is a rechargeable headlamp, so you can recharge just straight from here. You can just plug in to the headlamp, but this headlamp also pops off of the mount, has a magnetic side, and you can magnet this to something and then have, have light on. So like if you were working on your car or something like that, like maybe you're working on your tire on the side of the road, you could click this on your wheel well and you would have light on your workspace because that right there is a magnet. And you guys, you guys know I like magnets. When I was talking about this thing, I realized that I had taken something out of this bag, but it was still on my list because it normally lives in my bag. But it is, it is this guy here. This is an Aperture MC LED light. It's a, it's their mini LED. This is a little diffuser bit that goes on it. I made a whole video on these lights a while back because I got a four pack with the charger. It's a very cool setup, but these are, are so dang handy to have. They're also magnetic, which, you know, I like, but you can change colors on them. You can do, see, I can do all the different colors. If you were like, oh, I want blue. I think that's it. I think it's everything that goes in this camera bag when I go out. Let me get it packed up real quick. Boom, and that's packed up. This is how everything fits in there. It fits really well. Like this is a, it's a really good backpack. It has really good zippers. So even when I do kind of jam the heck out of it, it's easy to kind of push down. The zippers pull everything nice and snug. And you're ready to go. Oh, one last thing is the uh, the Peak Design clip. I put that on the outside. I've tried a bunch of the different clips. Lots of companies make these little clips now. The Peak Design one is still my favorite. And that's it. That is everything that is in my camera bag for 2022. It's everything that I'm gonna be using for this channel to go out and make videos for you guys. I hope this was helpful for you guys. Comment below with your thoughts. Let me know if there's something that you think I missed, something that I should have in this bag that, that I don't have in this bag, or if there's something in this bag that you were like, oh, that's dope. I wanna put that in my camera bag. That's the fun part of what's in my camera bag videos is you see everyone else's bags and you go, hey, that one little thing there, I like that. I'm gonna put that in my camera bag now. Yeah, hope this helps. Uh, I will see you guys down in the comments. I will be in the comments as much as possible, like always. Um, oh, also, I did I did kind of settle on using the Peak Design carbon fiber travel tripod over the Surui. I know it's, it's kind of stupid expense. If you didn't see this video, click there, go watch this video, but it's, it's pretty dope. I will say it's expensive, but it's a, ugh, it's a pretty dope tripod. All right, I'll see you guys soon. Oh man, my lights aren't on. Oh, I totally, dang it. Look guys, I got new lights and then I forgot to put them on and I started talking. Shoot. Yeah, see new, new backlights back. I don't know, I think it looks nice, but I forgot to put them on and I started talking already. Dang it.